Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Any guesses on where I'm at? <laughs> Brian and I came to the Crispy headquarters because it's that time of the year. It's time to get ready for scouting season and the upcoming fall hunts and we're looking at the new boots for this year and some of their best seller boots that they're bringing into the this year as well. So this is one of the hardest things for us to explain um, when we get questions either on Instagram or social media or, or here on YouTube is what boots we use, why, how do they fit, etc. So instead of trying to type as many replies as we can, we're going to do a video for you guys real quick, which is going to talk about how to pick out a boot for you, um, depending on what you're doing, your shape of your foot, and uh, you know how rigid and stuff you like your boots. So. Yeah, we have a lot of boots on. We've been trying them all on. There's so many new styles to talk about, and we're gonna tell you about them. The, the number one question we get when people are asking about boots is, which boots should I buy or which ones do you recommend? That is a loaded question because everybody's foot is so incredibly different. Uh, no better example than mine, Eric's and Casey's. Very different feet, although we're all within a half a size of one another. And we have kind of different uh, arches levels of flatness in our foot which means we require kind of different types of boots. The cool thing that Crispy offers I think that's really unique in the industry, they've got over 25 different types of SKUs and they've got everything from a boot that's going to be very very soft, flexible, almost like a tennis shoe, up to a boot that's going to be very very stiff and rigid, a true mountaineering boot and kind of all in between. So. We're with Justin, he's going to go through some of the specifics, like the technical questions that all of you probably have answers to when you're considering making a purchase for a boot. So I'd say first thing, you know, when we get these questions is where are you hunting and what are you hunting? Uh, species is a big thing because you can go on elevation, terrain, uh, other things geographical because of uh, temperature. So we go like uh, over here to the Laponia, much more lightweight, very, very flexible. So, uh, you know, steep, nasty terrain, maybe not the best, uh, the best boot for you because of that, but it, but because of that nice and uh, softness, you're going to feel the ground great for stalking, great for kind of getting in there. Also going to be uninsulated. So early season scouting, archery hunting, August, September, you know, early part of October, depending on where you're at. Great boot for you. First question, do you want an insulated boot that's going to add warmth, obviously, or do you want an uninsulated <laughs> boot? A lot of guys have problems with their feet sweating if you're doing a lot of hiking. I would say the fair amount of folks usually kind of trend towards uninsulated. However, if you're hunting late season and it's super, super cold, when it's you know 10, 10 degrees or less, an uninsulated boot is very hard to keep your foot warm even if you are hiking. So they've got both options for that. The second thing, so he was showing you the flex on the Laponia boot. They have a cool thing if you go to the Crispy website or even their YouTube channel, and they talk about every single boot that they offer and they give it what's called a flex rating. So the flex rating scale goes from a one, like this one. So this is a one that Eric has right here. Yeah. Super like almost nothing there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at that. All the way up to a five. Yeah, five. Ow. <laughs> this one's a five right here. And it's this in one. a boot right there, yeah. Yeah, and you can really feel how rigid it is when you try to twist it flex it. I mean the whole thing is stiff. It's not just like a three-quarter length like uh, the old-time shank style. So that's going to be the Birkstall and that is more of a mountaineering style boot. Yeah, rocky yeah, terrain. So, so by having that like super stiff sole like that, what that allows you to do is uh, it's going to let the boot do the work for you. So when you're on steep, nasty, doshy punt Alaska, it's not going to let that boot flex. So you're not going to in turn have to use your leg muscles to counteract with that. Now it's going to be a little counterintuitive for approaches. It might eat you up a little bit more because you are going to have to work a little harder. The boot's not going to flex, not going to be quite as comfortable. But when you're in the thick of it where it counts, that's when that boot's really going to shine. It's going to show you how good it is. Okay, so Eric's going to show you probably the most common um, flex that most hunters, I would say, are, are using. Um, unless you're doing that Alaska trip, right, where you're going to be in that crazy steep terrain. This is probably most common in most of your styles, right? The, the three. So you can see it's, it's much more rigid than the one. There's definitely some stiffness to it, but it's nothing like the level five. So I'm a three guy. The, all the crispy boots I wore last year used the three, and it seems to be nice and rigid for some of that rocky terrain that we use. 
um, but still flexible enough to, if, you know, if you're kneeling down or you're stalking, getting low, it's not going to, you know, hurt your feet. Had these in the brown last year. This is a Black Ovis limited or like not limited but like exclusive yeah it's a black support. ovis yep. which is their which is a website blackovis.com so this is on a father's day special you can buy this boot right now for so it's on sale for 232.50 over at black ovis yeah honestly i pre i love this boot last year put a lot of miles on it and i used it all the way up until our our colorado semi life series in november which is when I got the taller boots, the 400 gram thin slit ones. Yeah, I love them. And I'm still running those. I wore them all through shed season. Um, I kind of like them because where I go is still a lot of slushy snow, crossing creeks. So I still like the tall boots. But for the summer stuff, we're about to get ready for scouting and everything. I'm, just, I'm trying to pick out um, a shorter one. So there's so many options this year. And it's really just hard to narrow it down to one. So this video is, is meant to do that. And again, you're just looking for a lot of different things. Of how rigid do you want it? How stiff do you want it? How much ankle support do you want? And that's what we're going through right now. So my next question would be, um, are you a leather guy or a Cordero material guy? Yeah, yeah Cordero. Cordero and suede. Uh, there's benefits, there's pros and cons, I think, to both. I've typically always leaned forward to the all leather style until I wore this boot last year. What are some of the pros and cons you think to the leather versus the Cordura and the other materials? So first big thing is going to be breathability. Um, you can just look at the Cordura and you're going to allow sweat uh, to evaporate out of that boot rather than kind of holding it in. So even the leather boots that are uninsulated like that uh, Valdrez that you have on right now, it's going to breathe well, but it's not going to breathe quite as well as say a Cordura boot. Um, even Where, with the Gore-Tex liner? Even with the Gore-Tex liner, still breathes really well. Um, it's just, it's got to uh, kind of perforate that uh, that leather as opposed to where it can just breathe a little better with that. So it also counteracts when it does get a little cold. Um, the nice thing about having an uninsulated leather boot is you can usually stretch that into like say early October. Mm -hmm. You know, you get, a, you get a snowstorm late September, early October, and a leather boot's maybe going to give you a little bit of insulation where that Cordura isn't. So. Yeah. Well, it's definitely a weight factor too. I've noticed my, my boots that are more of the material, uh, they weigh a lot less than leather. And uh, how about care? Like, so care wise, uh, very similar. Uh, leather, you're gonna have to care a little bit more just simply because it is leather, conditioning it, make sure it doesn't crack, out, so. crack or dry out. Mm -hmm. A lot of that's where you live too, if you live in a dry, arid climate. Um, the other thing too that I really hit with Cordura is for guys that are in Southwest, Arizona, New Mexico, if you deal with cactus, this Valdrez or something like this that's a leather uninsulated is going to be your ticket because what you don't have to worry about is any kind of um, of the uh, cacti coming through this leather. So mm -hmm. it's very impenetrable. Whereas this Cordura, Cordura does have the chance, if you catch it right, it, can, right, it no. can get a needle through there. Yeah. And not that it's going to leak like a sieve, but it would jeopardize that Gore-Tex a little mm -hmm. bit. So not to mention having a a thorn in the, the foot. It's not one of the most <laughs> enjoyable things on a hunt. So. We're going to go through our favorite boots that we've worn the last two years and give you kind of a better idea of what it is um, that we liked about them and why we ended up selecting those particular boots, which is the Summit GTX. It fit my foot really well because it does have a little bit, I would say at least, it has a little bit wider of a toe box. So if you have somewhat of a, a more wide foot, this might be a good one for you. So right out of the box, this one was perfect for me last year. I wore, wore it all season and I just put the miles on it. So this one fit my foot perfect. Um, it's gonna be hard to steer away from it, honestly, but I'm trying to pick one out of these five or six for this year. And it has a flex rating of three. So again, it's like mid range, worked perfect for almost everything I did early season and into the fall. So that was my number one pick uh, from last year. I had a chance to prototype the Dakota two years ago got to wear it for the full season and they brought it into market last year in 2017. Now it is back again for 2018. Again on the flux rating, this is a three, so you still have good support. Has the ankle bone support system as well in it, so it's very comfortable once you slide your foot in there. And then this one has kind of a blend of the leather along with some of the Cordura, Cordura the tongue, ar around yeah. the tongue. So it's kind of a, a really great all around boot you know, a lot of people ask, hey, if I can just, if I could buy one boot from, that can get me from hunting early season where it's hot in the 80s and 90s, all the way through the late season, I would really recommend the Dakota probably or 
the Nevada, which this is the boot Casey has worn, pretty much his favorite boot the last two years. He has a little bit of a wider foot, so it kind of suits him well. It's an all leather. This one comes both uninsulated and now insulated. Yep. And so there's a couple options for you there, but your true leather, this is kind of like the workhorse of the Crispy lineup. It's been around a long time and it's always one of the most uh, popular, well-received boots. Also has the Vibram sole on the flux rating that Crispy has. Again, this is gonna come in out of three, so you're gonna be kind of middle of the road, great all-around boot, and uh, again, one of Casey's absolute favorites. This is the Thor. It's a boot we're looking at running this year, and we're gonna have Justin kind of talk about some of the details, specifics of this particular model. Nope. So the Thor came in, new boot, last year. Um, kind of testing it out, seeing how it was received, received really well. So first thing that you guys are gonna notice that I've seen it before, it's got a color update. We went to an olive and black, a little more olive, uh, a little less black, give it a little bit more color. Still have the orange and black for you guys that like the little bit of flashiness, but uh, super lightweight. This boot has meant to be light and fast with a little bit stiffer uh, of a sole. So it's gonna give you a good platform base for maybe some early uh, high country mule deer hunting. So much different of a sole. This one comes in a four, so a little bit more than that summit that you saw Eric holding up. Um, Cordura still, so you're gonna breathe really well. It's got a stretched nylon tongue, which almost gives you like a neoprene feel. So super comfortable and also gives you a very custom fit. So it's not gonna bunch up on you. You're not gonna have a ton of excess material. Uh, boot like this is really, like I said, gonna, you know, the guy that's light and fast, uh, count ounces, this is gonna be the way to go. So we hope some of the details that we covered on the stiffness level of the boot, the material of the boot, the fit of the boot will help you guys make a better decision when you're gonna buy your next pair of boots. One of the cool things uh, that I have going on right now, this is an exclusive deal on blackolis.com. We'll, we will leave a link in the description. One of our favorite boots, the Summit GTX, now in the black color is gonna be on sale for Father's Day starting right now, today, the minute you're watching this, all the way through June 17th, Father's Day, that evening it'll go off sale. So they're gonna have a good savings. These will be discounted to $232.50. Thanks for your help. Hey, no worries, I'm glad you guys came by. Appreciate it. Okay guys, well we're gonna spend some more time trying on different styles and trying to pick some boots out for this year. But if you guys have any other questions regarding crispy boots, leave them in the comment box below. Um, let us know. We'll try to answer as many questions as you guys have. We'll try to get maybe Justin or somebody from Crispy to help you out. If you do have any questions, if not, check them out on their website. Again, we're going to try on more of these boots and uh, see which ones we like for this summer. I'm telling you right now, we don't recommend it, but you can literally take these boots out of the box at your camp and start hiking and hunting. We've done it many times, not on purpose, <laughs> but it works. They're so comfortable. With no break-in period. That's what's crazy, really. Very little break-in. Yeah. Hey guys, I figured I'd end the video with telling you which boots we decided to go with. B-Mac and myself both took the orange and black Thor, and then we took a uh, Summit GTX, the black version, which was the Father's Day special. We got that for Casey. So that's what we're running right now. Um, those are gonna last us again, probably through the early fall, and then we'll maybe move towards something either taller or more insulated. Anyways. I hope this video helped you guys. I know picking out boots can be really difficult for some people. I'm lucky I don't have a very picky foot, so all those boots seriously felt so good to me. But I chose the Thor because it was definitely the lightest weight one with a nice rigid midsole. Anyways, guys, I'm down here fishing with my girlfriend, making more content for you guys. We got the bear hunt coming up, we got fishing videos coming up, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you on the next video.